Is there a non-Portuguese speaking person in the audience? Okay, I'll stick with English then. Welcome to Why Should You Teach Your Young Padawans How to Code and Why Should You Start with Python? My name is Marco Amado. I'm a developer at Loops. Among many other things, we're the developers of Cloud Invoicing Solution Maloney. You can find me at all the usual places. Uh, yes, including Google+. Plus. Um, do you know that joke about the programmer who had a child? When met by a friend a few days later, he or she is asked, so did you have a boy or a girl? The programmer just answers, yes. What most people think, what we really know what's going on, realistic, maybe. What about this one? A few years ago, this trick question appeared on every other driver's license written test. Car lights should be white, yellow, white, and yellow, white, or yellow. Everybody knows the answer? No? Nobody knows the answer? Okay. The amount of people answering white and yellow was very, very high. Of course, one doesn't need to know programming. After all, logic is a common topic on philosophy, which everyone has on, on high school. But programmers do tend to keep this in mind at all times. These two examples show the most important advantage a programmer has, logical thinking. Another advantage is the capability to, of divide and conquer. If a problem seems too big, let's break it down. Let's make a flowchart, an algorithm, a zero code rundown of the steps. One step is still too, still too complicated, let's break it down again. Spatial perception. Sooner or later, the little programmer will want to draw stuff. Come on, common line input and output is kind of boring. Um, moving things around, on the other hand, can be pretty fun. Can I fit this 40 pixel circle inside that 60 pixel square? Should I move this image from X0, Y0 to X400? Something like that. There's an, an even bigger advantage. It's awareness. Uh, sure, not every kid will keep programming. We know the vast majority won't, uh, but that's okay. We know they will know how hard things can get. We know they'll value it, and they'll value the professionals they'll meet uh, in the future. And they'll remember that it's fun and rewarding too, and maybe, just maybe, they'll come back someday. Okay, so how and what can I teach my son or daughter, my brother or sister? Does every, everyone has kids? Uh, somebody has kids? Kids there, kids there, younger brothers or sisters. Okay, everybody has a young Padawan at home. Um, what can I teach him? It depends. As soon as your young Padawan can barely read, around five or six years old, you can introduce him to Scratch. Scratch is a Lego-like, event-driven authoring tool. You build programs by joining blocks, which range from keyboard and mouse inputs to sprite movement, audio playing, control structures, almost everything you'd find on a full-fledged programming language. You can find it online and offline versions in English at MIT's original page and an offline only Portuguese version at SAP Kids. As soon as the youngling has a few more skills, you can introduce him to a more serious language and by that I mean Python. <laughs> okay, why do I recommend Python? I'll be honest with you, I don't even use Python, uh, neither professionally, I don't, nor personally, besides teaching my older daughter. However, I do recognize a few characteristics on Python that make it, in my opinion, the best teaching programming language for kids. First, it's multi-paradigm. Uh, whether you choose to take the procedural, object-oriented, or functional route, Python has you covered. It's really easy. Uh, it has no strict typing. It has no memory shenanigans to be worried about. It's wildly cross-platform. Uh, it has... Um, there's an interpreter for pretty much every platform there is. It has an incredible comprehensive standard library and models for more stuff than you can possibly think of. But most of all, and this is my number one reason to choose Python, it has an immense focus on discipline. Uh, remember, in Python there's no brackets, so white space, uh, white space do matter. This forces young programmers to start off by paying special attention to perfect code indentation. Uh, if they keep programming in the future, this lesson will be invaluable to them. Thank you for staying with me.
keep up the good work, never pass on the opportunity to introduce your children or your siblings to this wonderful world. You'll spend more time with your loved ones and they'll be more prepared to the challenges, challenges of years to come. And you too might even find, uh, might even learn a thing or two by teaching, we always do. Uh, feel free to contact me around here or through social media for sharing ideas, problems, everything.